this has always been one of our favorite segments, um, but for some reason, there's something about this season of The Bachelorette, Andy, yeah. that your reviews are just kind of, you, it's next level stuff. I only have 10 minutes. The producers <laughs> only give me 10 minutes for this right. review. It's not me, Tara, it's the oh. material itself. It's not the player, it's the game. And this is Nick, who was on Andy's season. Didn't work out, he got the 86. Yeah, he wants some loving when it comes to Caitlyn. He and Caitlyn had talked previously on the social medias. He says, I'm gonna go into the lines then. I'll confront the guys, I'll tell them, and I'll plead my case, because I'm coming in, I'm moving into this house. He don't look very happy. The guys were not <laughs> happy, and he gets in the hot seat by Tanner, and here's Tanner's thoughts and questions. Um, Ready for the next Bachelorette? I mean, you're gonna come back next year if it didn't work out with Caitlyn too. Not my plan. It uh, seems it seems weird when you're hanging out with Andy a month ago. Okay, this, this things didn't Andy. work out there. Hold on, things didn't work out there. Now, okay, let's go hang out with Caitlyn. Cool. Uh, it just seems odd. It, it seems like. If you're wondering what John Lithgow looked like when he was 34, <laughs> we have the answer this morning. Absolutely. He is Lithgowian. He, he is, you know, he's in it to win it. Oh, but there are these questions. It didn't work out with Andy. Some of the guys said that in the tabloids that were spotted together four weeks ago, does he want fame? Does he just want love? We'll see, but he's willing to take that risk and have a target on his back throughout. That meant with Nick in, it was rose ceremony time, and you know what? Three guys uh, out of the picture. Not necessarily just because Nick was there. Three were going to go, uh, but you know what? It was not the greatest uh, news for those guys. Uh, you know, three guys out. Uh, ben H. goes on a great date. And then Sean, who might be the front runner, kind of looks like Ryan Gosling. The ladies love the Sean. Apparently, Caitlin loves the Sean as well. An outstanding date. And then he really spills the beans, opens up his heart. And I was kind of shocked to hear what Caitlin has to say as well. Here's a clip of their dinner after their canoeing excursion. <laughs> I'm falling in love with you. What? Here comes. <laughs> gotta, gotta listen close. Shh. Do we have this part? When Sean tells me that he's falling in love, I feel the luckiest I've felt so far. What I'm feeling right now is that was my husband telling me that he loved me for the first time. She's saying way too much here. She's, she feels why? the same. Why? 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 You don't say that. There's like 15 guys in the house. We want they to don't dismiss. know what she's saying. Well, we do at home. <laughs> Point being is it's kind of a... You don't do that. Ian, they had the mariachi competition. He goes, I can sing. He made the biggest fool out of himself, maybe in Bachelorette history. His song was horrible. God bless him. But the deal is, he gets uber bitter. It got the best of him. He started throwing things around like, I am the best uh, man in this entire uh, you know, competition. My ex-girlfriend was twice as hot as Caitlyn. Said some nasty things. He said, you know, I'm Princeton educated. I, these chumps have nothing on me. I should be the next Bachelor. He loses his cool. He wants out. Then then he finally confronts her. This is at the very end of the episode, and he lays into Caitlin. Here's what he had to say to her on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation. I feel like you're here to make out with a bunch of dudes on TV. And bringing Nick in, I don't question his intentions. I question your intentions. I really see you as a service-level person at this stage. And I wonder if you're really that shallow because I don't see anything beyond the surface. Whoa. Yeah. Ouch. He lays it down. Basically, it ends with the to be continued coming up on the screen. You have to watch it. Uh, Bachelorette Mondays at 9 here on City. Uh, but the deal is, out with a blaze of glory, he says some less than kind things to mm -hmm. her. It's a process. Guess what? There's 15 guys. Not every guy's going to get picked. Are you the next Bachelor? Not with behavior like that, Ian. <laughs> he's gotta be he's watching. I bet he is. But nevertheless, it was crazy. Crazy episode. Uh, did, glossed over this. Josh, the country boy from the South, he took her aside and said, I don't think Nick is here for the right reasons. All the guys will agree with me. She threw him in front of the guys. Guys said nothing. But then Sean kind of backed him up and said, you know what? We, we, nobody wants to get, mm, nobody wants to say anything. They don't want to get kicked off. Right. Josh might be getting kicked off next week from what he said. Excellent. Thank you, Andy. Salacious we, lo we love this. Uh, still to come on the show, Mr. Fabulous, Ryan Massa will be here with some Father's Day gift ideas.